Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on so you never miss an upload and while you're down there give me a big thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today I'm doing a video that was kind of suggested to me on Twitter yes I'm calling it Twitter I'm not gonna call it X because that name sucks so Twitter this is what I received I posted this. So yeah, let's film the video. <laughs> so yeah, let's start with different types of bipolar disorder. So we have bipolar 1, which is what I have, bipolar 2, clothemia, I can't pronounce it, this, I'll put, I'll put the list here, rapid cycling bipolar, bipolar with mixed features, bipolar with seasonal pattern, bipolar with seasonal pattern, unspecified bipolar. So there are different types of bipolar disorder. When you're dealing with bipolar disorder, it's important to know which type you're dealing with because bipolar 1 it has extreme highs, which is mania, and extreme lows, which is depression. Bipolar 2 has hypermania, which is less severe mania. Type 1 often needs hospitalisation when it comes to mania because it can induce psychosis, which is what happened to me if you hope that missed my little saga of my antipsychotic being decreased here's the video I've been diagnosed with bipolar since I was 13 years old I'm now 26 years old I turned 27 this year god I'm getting old so yeah bipolar is different for everybody so let's talk about some of the signs of mania it's an extreme high so you want to look out for impulsivity, extreme spending, fast thinking, taking on more tasks than doable, spending a lot of money. I know when I get manic I blow all my money, which never helps because I'm trying to save to move out. <laughs> Bipolar is a mood disorder. It basically means rapid shifts in mood, not like BPD. So bipolar disorder and borderline personality disorder get confused very often. Now bipolar disorder can be genetic and for me it is. My mum has bipolar disorder, my grandma has bipolar disorder. So I'm a predisposition to developing mental health conditions. Things that I would want someone to know about me as yeah, someone with bipolar disorder is I'm not my disorder. I'm a person that has a condition. A well managed condition. My condition is managed through antipsychotics, mood stabilizers, and then anti two antidepressants and a benzodiazepine. And I think what most people with bipolar want people to know is that yes, we have a condition, but it doesn't define our lives. As long as we're receiving some kind of treatment for it, we are like everybody else. Yes, things can trigger episodes, and that can be distressing to witness. So, yes, so here's some signs that may indicate someone's going through a manic episode. Feeling elated high or up, feeling extremely irritable, decreased need for sleep and sometimes going several days without sleep, without feeling tired, that part sucks. Changes in appetite, I've never had that. Bouncing quickly between thoughts, risky behaviour and poor judgement. Grandiose ideas where a person feels exceptionally talented, important and powerful. Some signs of... So what signs are a depressive episode? Being sad, hopeless or worried most of the day or almost every day. Taking longer than normal to complete daily tasks. Loss of interest or pleasure in things they usually enjoy. Major changes in sleep habits, you're sleeping significantly more or sleeping significantly less than usual. Major changes in appetite, eating more or less than usual. Speaking slowly and with the impression that they are having a hard time getting words out their mouth. Difficulty concentrating. Taking a long time to complete simple tasks. Losing interest in activities that once brought joy or pleasure. And thoughts of death 
or suicide. Manic episodes tend to ha a little bit of the Manic episodes tend to last for at least a week, as do depressive episodes. They can last for months. So yeah, here that's just a little bit about bipolar disorder. I hope this helped and I hope this answered some questions of how you can help someone with bipolar disorder. Thank you for watching and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. Like I said at the beginning of the video, your, your thoughts matter to me so your comment stuff down below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.